Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So it's time for me to go ahead and get the showroom together for the ladies. Now, we don't have a counter, but I decided to go ahead and use that little dresser that was in the bundle of broken furniture. Now, it's a good height. It's a good size. It won't take up a lot of room. It is big enough for the little cash register. I'm just kind of adjusting the camera. So, dolls, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to use the drawer openings as shelves on the counter or actually use the drawers. I haven't decided yet. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get this old stain and glue off of the fronts of the drawers because either way, I'm gonna to need to add new knobs. Now this little dresser came with its knobs, but all the pieces weren't there. So I will need to make some accommodations for that. But I've got some other ideas bubbling around. But let me show you a couple other things I was working on. So I've got the little cabinet that I had painted previously and it added crackle to it. And I decided it would look really cute if I used the same wallpaper that I used in Aunt Bess's room in the rooming house, in the upstairs hallway of the dress shop, and on the non-paneled wall in the showroom. I think that by using it multiple places in the dress shop dollhouse, it will make it seem as though they got the wallpaper on sale or discount and there was a lot left and they're not going to waste it. Now I had this little um, half round table. It's actually left over from my original dollhouse collection. It was a table and I broke the legs off of it, but I'm going to try to turn it into a shelf. Now I am covering up that rough looking edge of the table with some really nice trim that I had and I really think it looks nice. So my plan is to paint it, add some brackets, a little rub and buff. So I'm going to allow that to dry. Now I'm going back to the little cabinet now that the wallpaper has been installed and I'm kind of adding some more of my alcohol and acrylic paint wash to kind of motley it up a little bit. And now I'm adding a little bit of my antique gold rub and buff. Now I really like this to hit the highlights and kind of bring out some of the relief pattern on the little cabinet to maybe make it look like when it was in its glory, it was a really ornate cabinet, but because Aunt Bess got it on a discount or a sale, it's a little scuffed up, the paint's a little crackle, but it's in really good condition. Now I'm using a little cloth to add the rub and buff to the high points of the cabinet, but you definitely could use a brush. And I love that it's catching the higher parts of the cabinet to really give it an interesting effect. I really, really like the way it's turning out. I really have to be careful when I'm using rub and buff because I have a tendency that once I start, I want to rub and buff everything but I really like the way it looks on this cabinet. And I really love the effect of the combination of the two, the crackle medium making it look a little old and rugged, but then the highlights of the gold looking like, I wanted it to look like maybe it belonged to a high-end boutique at one season in history, but now it's been modestly salvaged as a humble piece in this lovely little dress shop. Now getting back to the little half round table, the trim is dry. So I'm gonna add a couple coats of this folk art paint called succulent. It is acrylic paint. Now, yes, I'm painting over the fabric trim to make it look as though the little shelf made from a broken table looked like it's got a carved wood design. Now, in a previous video, I made this little picture frame with an old shoe buckle and some resin roses. And now I'm just adding a little thank you now that little thank you actually came off of a tag of something I purchased and I thought it was the perfect size for the dollhouse. Now when I was opening things, two packs of cash fell out so I thought I might as well go ahead and put those into the cash register. That reminds me I need to put a lock on that. Now this is a little chrism bond clock that was a part of a gift bundle I received. I had painted it a while back, it didn't come out so good but I thought that it looking kind of rough and bad would make it look more like an old antique clock. So after I painted it a dark brown, I added a little rub and buff. Now I never did do anything to the face. I do need to add some color to the numbers and the hands. And I can see right now I'm gonna need to put my rub and buff away because I have just a really strong urge to just start putting it on everything. But I really think it really enhances this clock a lot. And here I'm just tapping on the little numbers on the clock to bring them out. And I figure an old clock would have faded numbers. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. 
Now that the framed thank you is dry, I just want to put a little piece on the back of it so that it'll stand up. And that little scrap is left over from a door frame miter. Now I had a few door hooks that I normally put on the back of the rooming house doors, but I think they'll really be useful to hang purses and accessories on in the dress shop showroom. Okay, dolls, I'm just letting you know that the true little Gretchen is coming to the surface because it's time to add the details and the accessories, which is always my favorite part. For me, it's like the climax of the moment of bringing together all the things you've been collecting and creating for a project coming together at once. Now, I hope you dolls don't mind if I play for a moment. Now the little clock and the picture frame are very special to Aunt Bess. She's had them for many, many years. And although it's missing a stone, it has a lot of sentimental value. So the thank you sign and the clock stay together because they're gentle reminders that even after all these years, a dream can come true. Now dolls, I got this cute little thimble. I think it'll be a nice trinket to go on the shelves, but I did add a little piece of wood behind the thimble so it'll stand up on the shelf. Now these are my little masquerade masks. I'm going to mount them on the walls as a decoration. Now this is a little gold evening bag that I got along with the masquerade masks, but I painted it matte black acrylic and then I highlighted it with the rub and buff antique gold because I wanted it to still look like an evening bag but I just wanted the gold to be toned down a little bit so it looked more like cloth rather than metal. So dolls I'm finally getting to the item that inspired the whole dress shop idea. It was this lovely cabinet with all the little cubbies in it and I got it from the bundle of items that I got that I called the gift that looked like a haul from my friend Wendy Wagey. I will leave a link in the description of when I got this cabinet, but it's a lovely cabinet, but the wood is a little bit dark. I want to brighten it up because the dress shop is kind of small, so I thought a lighter color would actually make it stand out a little bit more and make the room brighter. Now, dolls, after I added a generous coat of the crackle medium to the entire cabinet, I went on to add that wonderfully familiar green color I love so much. It's actually called Succulent by Folk Art, and I will leave a link in the description for that as well. And I'm really glad I put a nice thick coat of the crackle medium on because almost as soon as I started to apply the paint, the paint started to crackle. And I originally felt kind of bad because I applied the crackle so thick and messy, but it really turned out good in a way that was exactly the way I imagined. And here's that little half round shelf that I made with the trim on it. Now I did end up adding two coats of the paint to that and the rubbing buff. So now I need brackets. But now I'm at the place where I was beginning to fill the little cubbies. And I had some little paper boxes that I had made a while back and they're the perfect size for this project. Sometimes it's funny when you make all these little things and you really don't know what you're going to do with them and then it turns out that everything fits perfectly. So dolls, I needed to lengthen the post on a couple of the hat stands. I realized as I started to do the layout of the dress shop that the short hat stands really didn't work out proportionally for my display. So I added a little glue between some of these little wooden beads to heighten the hat stands and it worked out really well because the wooden beads that I was using, some of them were the same color as the existing hat stands. I apologize for being out of focus for that first hat stand. So let me show you again. This is a little honey spoon or a honey dipper that came from a gift set I received. So dolls, this is what I mean when I say almost everything I see looks like it can be used for a miniature. Now this is the one I made while I was out of focus. I think it turned out really good. It needs to dry, but now I'm gonna go ahead and add the honey dipper to some little wooden pieces I have to create a new hat stand. Now I did sand the rounded tip to flatten it so that it'll fit nice and neat against the other beads I'm adding. And when I thought that it was nice and flat, I used a little bit of Gorilla Wood glue to attach the three pieces. Now I really love the Gorilla Wood glue because it sets up really quickly. Now I did have to hold it for a little while just to make sure everything stayed stable and straight. Now dolls, I will need to stain this one, but it ended up being the perfect height for an additional hat stand. Now I'm sure some of you all are wondering why I'm not using the golf tees I was given, but I've tucked them away safely, and I'm sure they'll show up as soon as I finish this project. <laughs> 
Now I used the old candle stand. I flipped it upside down and added a wooden bead to make another hat stand because I don't use the candlestick holders very much in my scenes. So dolls, I want you to see this so that your creativity is never hindered by lack of supplies. Use what you have. Now with this one, I used the existing short hat stand and glued two little wooden flower pots together and added a button at the bottom to be the base. Now dolls, this is a little hat box that was a part of my original collection. It was just the plain purple velvet, and after all these years, it looked a little scrappy, but I re-envisioned it and re-rocked the whole look with a little trim, some lace, and a flower. Sometimes you have old miniatures that are not your favorites, but with a little imagination, you can give them a whole new life. Now here I'm just painting some of those little boxes that I had. I would definitely want to add them to the shelf, but I thought that they would look a little bit more uniform if I painted them the soft pink color. So dolls, I have this really, really cute hanger. It was like Barbie pink and it's oversized. It's definitely bigger than 12 scale, but I painted it a matte black and now I'm hitting it with my antique gold rub and buff to really bring out the highlights and define all the lovely details. Now getting back to the little masquerade mask. Now remember I removed the jump rings from them. So I'm adding a small piece of wood that'll make it possible for them to have a flat back. So I'll be able to mount them to the wall. So dolls, I'm going to do a quick review. There is my little thimble. And you see in the background there are the masks. Now I'm just giving you a closer look at that little hat box that I redesigned. It's got a little seam binding, some trim. And yeah, it looks a little rough close up, but from a distance, it'll look cute. And here's a jar of seed beads that are passing as buttons. This is a quick look at a shelf I made for the showroom. And I did it in a previous video. I will leave a link in the description. And it was literally made with a jumbo craft stick and some brackets from a Crisenbon kit. And here's the honey spoon hat stand. Now dolls, here's a quick peek at the hats that I made from scraps. These little hats were made quite a while ago, so I will leave a link in the description for them as well. So by now, I think you realize there are lots and lots of videos out there with items related to the dress shop and the sewing room. Now dolls, if you're new to the channel, all of these items have been being prepared for the grand opening of the dress shop. The dolls are preparing to open the dress shop by Christmas. And so all of these things are going together so that the showroom will be up and running, even though the rest of the house is still under renovation. Now, in addition to selling dresses and hats, the dress shop also offers ladies accessories and toiletries, perfume, jewelry, all types of little gift items for ladies. And although I've made lots and lots of things for the dress shop, it's not over dolls. I just wanted to show you really quick. In addition to the few little bags I made from paper scraps, I actually bought some little bags. Now, some of you may wonder why all the bags that the dress shop is using are all different. The bags were purchased in a surplus lot along with the salvage furniture and fixtures for the dress shop. So the ladies are too frugal to waste perfectly good bags just because they don't have the dress shop logo on them. Now, as I was pulling together all the things to put on the shelves and the fixtures in the dress shop, I pulled a little box and all these little purses made from binder clips fell out. I almost forgot about them. These little purses have been tucked away so long, I almost forgot that I made them. <laughs> and dolls, we can't forget the hat boxes. Dolls, I'm so tickled and amused by all these little things that I've made over the past year for this one project. There are so many wonderful memories attached to all these projects and it really warms my heart. To think of all of you all who have come along on this journey with me. Many of you have been with me since the beginning and I'm equally as excited about those of you who have recently chosen to be a part of the Little Gretchen's Workshop family and have accepted the invitation to be one of my precious dolls. Now, even though we're having the grand opening of the dress shop, we're nowhere near done with creating for this project. But let me finish arranging these purses so that I can mount it on the wall in the dress shop. And I just want you to see it up close before I put it in. So let's go and look. So here is one of the cabinets all arranged. There's some of the boxes we made in previous videos. We got the hat boxes, gift boxes, perfume bottles, and then there's the clock and the framed thank you. 
So we have quite a bit of work to do. So let's peek inside the showroom so far. Now there's the cubby all painted and filled with all the lovely things that I've made over the past year. I just want to zoom in a little bit. We've got the bonnets, we got fans, and we got the little boxes that we painted today. Oops, that blue box is not supposed to be in there. Let me move that. And there's a lovely fan made of feathers. I can't explain to you dolls how much fun it is looking back at all the things that I've made over the past year. And there are the perfume bottles and the hangers and the trays and the mirrors. <laughs> and, it, and then we've got inside the drawers are some of the little blouses that we made. So the dress shop is fully stocked and ready for business. Now, dolls, I must confess that in the midst of everything that I finished in this video, I did not complete the dresser from the broken bundle of furniture that I was assigned to use as a cash register desk. And there it is in the background. You can see it from a distance. Aunt Janie's back there counting up the money in the cash register, making sure they're able to make change for their customers. So I will be refinishing and enhancing the little dresser to help it coordinate with the other items in the dress shop. Now, dolls, if you've enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.